then there's reunion, and then there's rejoicing. Rejoicing. Love rejoices. Love rejoices. The lovers rejoice. To be loved in the lover. And what is the rejoicing stage? When Krishna returns to the gopis and says, you think I was absent from you. You were searching for me. You were crying in torment and separation and great dilap and lamentation. I heard, I heard your every love filled utterance. Your every love filled utterance. Every utterance, every word, every syllable. I heard it all. I didn't hear it with my ears. I didn't hear it with my ears. I heard it with the ears of my heart. It penetrated deeply into my heart. Your words and separation, your gopi git, glorifying me and glorifying the sadhus and glorifying my harikata, they have melted my heart. I was right here. You are on the banks of the Yamuna. And I was right in this kunja. I was just near. I was so near you. But you were so much absorbed in viraha, bhav, the mood of separation. You were so much absorbed in lamentation. You couldn't smell the fragrance of my body. You couldn't hear my heart trembling. You couldn't, you couldn't taste my heart melting. But I was here. I was right with you. I never left you. I can never leave you. How can a true lover ever leave a true beloved? Impossible. True love is eternal. True love is transcendental. True love is the love that's experienced between Bhagavan, God, and the Jiva. Bhagavan and his devotees. Bhagavan, Jiva, Prem, Sambandha. It is a bondage of love between the true hero of all lovers. Krishna is the ultimate lover and hero of everyone. And we are all his beloved. We are all his beloved servants and nayakas. So there is reunion. And then, oh, then Krishna says, come, let's, let's walk along the Yamuna. And then they started the Rasa dance. The chapter 33 is the Ras Lila, or the rejoicing in love. Of course, we may not finish chapter 29 in this one month, but class will go on. It's eternal. So this is the eight features of love, which is the um, fifth characteristic of making Ras Lila unique. It is a love story. Is it a regular, ordinary love story? No. It is God's love story. Yes, God falls in love. Yes, God dances. Yes, God sings. Yes, God plays. 